Hey, what's going on guys? J413 Airsoft here, and today I have a review of a brand new gun that I was able to get the uh, pleasure of working on today. We're doing a review of the APS Shark CO2 Gas Blowback Pistol. So just to start things off right now, let me just say that the pistol, it's an alright pistol. It's a pretty good pistol. It, I think it asks a demand of $113. That's from what I hear from the customer that I did the commission on, and... Uh, well, it's pretty. It's it's a pistol that's got some of its uh, own nice features. For one, it's CO2 powered, which is really nice. Uh, you put in your CO2 bulb upside down, underneath in the magazine here. Uh, let me just slide this base plate back on under the base plate. It can take uh, 33 rounds in the magazine, so 32 plus one in the chamber. Uh, it does feature a full aluminum slide, so the slide is actually very lightweight. Uh, it has cutouts in the slide, making the cycling rate pretty decently fast. Not only does it have the ergonomics and the mostly part of the internals as a Glock or a Smith & Wesson M&P, but it also has a full auto capability with a moderate rate of fire. Um, as for the pistol's functions, it's pretty self-explanatory. It has a flat trigger, has a small low-profile slide release that can be power stroke, so that's nice. It has full auto, fiber optic sight cut out in the slide, and serrations along the slide that aren't too deep but aren't too sharp to rack the slide quickly and effectively in the field of battle, which is pretty nice. Another feature is the underslung Picatinny rail for all your lights, laser, foregrips, or whatever. Fluted magwell, polymer lower to make the pistol very lightweight, and the, uh, and the internal hammer system, which is very reliable, actually. And with that said, there's not much to say left about the pistol, at least externally. Internally, it, it's a, not a direct copy, but a pretty close copy of the Elite Force Glocks, which is very nice. And yeah, uh, mags are readily cheap and available. They're uh, available. They're hefty, lightweight. They have a slightly rubberized um, bottom base plate. So if you accidentally drop one on the forest ground, that's not too bad. I wouldn't recommend dropping these on pavement doing factory loads and whatnot. But besides that, it's a very nice pistol. And let's go on to the shooting. 